Hello everybody and welcome back to my Dreamfall Chapters Let's Play. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, back at Zoe. Alright. I'll avenge you, Crow. They're on some kind of lockdown. I'm guessing because of me. Heavy duty. They could easily lock down this entire place. What do they do in this lab? Bioengineering, definitely, but what... Exactly. One. Faith. One, nine. Faith. Faith. As in... My half sister, Faith. One five, Hope. One three, Hannah. One one, Zoe. Jesus. What. what does this mean? Was that my incubation pod? And that must be Hannah, as in Hannah, that helped us get to Mr. London's warehouse. Huh, okay. There's a message from... it's from Helena Chang, my mother. Something about... this is about me. Some sort of physical status report. They've been monitoring me in that room for months. What's been happening here? They're scanning molecular structures, people, brains. They're scanning molecular structures, people, brains. What are those things? Get out, get out! Close, close door. Okay, good. This is Unit 7 proceeding towards sequencing. Affirmative Central will find prior roles. Sequencing. Okay. I'm headed towards sequencing too. <laughs> Let's just hope that. Shit. I'm trapped. Halt. Shit. I'm trapped. Let's not head towards sequencing. Shit, um... We have a runner exiting bioengineering. This is not Briar Rose. Shoot to kill. No, 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 no. Target's down. Repeat, the target's dead. Affirmative. Head back to bioengineering. There may be witnesses. Take care of them. Affirmative, what is central? Where am I? Underground? And what are those blue lines? Okay, he's gone that way. I wanna not go that way. Poor guy. Maintenance. Alright, let's check out maintenance. Oh, we won't check out maintenance. Damn it! Oh, hang on a second. I hate to do this, but I need this more than you. I'm sorry. Right, back to sequencing. <laughs> Fire engineering is clear. Repeat, we're clear. No 
survivors and no prior roads. Resuming control to all sequencing, Central. Fucking hell. Uh, excuse me, coming through. Uh oh. Uh oh. You know what? I'll just go this way. Safer to go this way. All X. Central, I have eyes on prior roads. All X. Central, I have eyes on prior roads. They're all. 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 Jesus, this is horrible. Dad? Zoe, don't Stop! Don't move or I shoot! We got her. She's in the core. I repeat, target is in the core. Stay there. Everyone stay exactly where you are. Hello, Zoe. Lady, I told you. Mom. Helena. Dad, what's going on? What is this place? You need to get out of here. Now. Everyone, stop talking! Okay, how did it affect those soldier guys? Because they've got helmets on. They shouldn't be able to breathe in that stuff. Ugh, whatever. The new age. Goddess, protect me. I pray I'm doing right by you. We cannot let outsiders dictate the future of our empire. The Prophet is a tool, and so is this engine. Your light is eternal, Goddess. Under my watch, it will reach the darkest corners of the world, and beyond. Behold! The mechanical revolution! An end to magic! The dawn of enlightenment! Witness the engine and its awesome powers. Keon, please respond. I don't think he can hear you, Anna. If he's hurt, we'll need a new plan. Shit. We can't even get out of here with those soldiers trying to break in. Uh, yeah. About that. Uh, is it just me, or is it, uh... Quiet? The soldiers must have left. Something's going on. Something bad if they've abandoned their posts. We need to move. Now, if we can't get through to Keon, or if he's... Dead. We need to get into the tower ourselves. But how? If the Azadi really have abandoned their posts? Through the front door. That sounds incredibly dangerous. I'm sure it will be. Let's go. Wait! Okay, you two head for the tower. I'm going to find the others. If the Azadi are running scared, we have an opportunity to strike back. All right. Stay safe, Eni. You too. I hope Kian's okay. I'm sure he's okay. Kian's always okay, right? It's going back and forth a lot now, so we must be getting close to the end. You must have a lot of questions. Hey, why? Why am I locked up in here? Let me out! I can't do that, but I promise I'll explain. Just try to relax. 
Please, I... Is that... Dad? Dad! Dad, what's happening? Let me out! He can't. Not yet. What did you do? I had to subdue him. There's so much at stake, I can't afford anyone getting overly emotional. Even though Helen is my mother, she clearly has little empathy for me. Pleading may be pointless, but maybe she'll respond to anger. Open this up right now! Let me go! Let me out, or I swear I'll... Calm down. Getting upset won't help you or your father. After we're done, you can leave. You and Gabrielle. That was the deal. Done with what? The culmination of 30 years of research. My life's work. Rebooting the world. What? I will explain, and hopefully you'll understand. But first, I do need you to calm down and be rational. Nothing good will come from panicking. She's right. There's no point fighting this. Not yet. All I can do is breathe. That's better. Deep breath, Zoe. Now listen to me. For the past year and a half, you've been in a coma inside Jiva's labs in Mumbai. You've been dreaming. No, that's not possible. Hold on, I'm not saying it's all been a dream. Everything you've experienced has been real. That's what's so amazing and exciting, Zoe. While you were dreaming, you projected a physical binary of yourself into the waking world. Think of it like entangled particles, one copy here in my lab, and one in Europolis. You dreamed yourself a new life in Propast, and it came to be as real as anything. But why? Two reasons. Misdirection, to keep Wadi Corp off our backs, and more importantly, to trigger your memories and activate your latent powers. We needed you to return to that... <sighs> that parallel other world to find and absorb a primal source of dreaming energy to fulfill your potential. Lux, are you there? You have a unique skill. You must have realized this by now. You can reshape reality. I'm a dreamer. There have always been stories of those born with the power to change the world, but I couldn't wait around for that to happen, so your father and I made you. How's Gabrielle involved? What did he do? They were married. Of course they made me. What does she mean? My father? We were partners, and you were the first experiment, our first creation. We designed you, the first manufactured dreamer. You were born in this lab. There were other experiments, half-sisters, Faith, of course, the final girl. She was a mistake. And you met Hannah not so long ago. She was the second experiment, after you. You were drawn to each other, and she was drawn here, to Angana, to the dreams. I know she's in Mumbai, but she's not strong enough to affect anything. She poses no threat. None of them worked out, not the way we intended. And I didn't think you would either. So I let your father take you away when you were a toddler, he cared so much about you. He was willing to give up everything. His life, his career. Me? How could I say no? It wasn't until you connected to a dream machine that I realized your powers were there, only latent. That's why I put you in a coma and brought you back here. I did it to protect you. If I hadn't, Wadi would have taken you. Your father had no choice but to come along. He did what he had to do to keep you safe. We both did. We saved your life, Zoe, and we made a deal. Gabrielle would help me finish what we'd begun. We'd be partners again, and then afterwards, he could take you home. I'd leave you alone. The deal still stands once we finish changing the world. Did she just say what I think she said? Helena is clearly unstable. Changing what? Changing everything for the better. I need you to understand this. We're going to remake the world, you and I. How? I don't have time to go into details, but there's a place we go when we dream. Story time. 
different cultures have different names for it. The Aranda people of Australia call it dream time. Think of it as the initial state of all matter and energy in every possible universe. The blueprint. All realities originated in this initial state, and they remain entangled, evolving one universe affecting another. Wave energies are fueled by dreams. Particles in our world are entangled with particles in Arcadia because they were created together in story time. Eingana has the power to change the wave field, and thus the observable universe through dreams. Wati, the dream machine, they must somehow be connected to Helena and Jiva. How does Arcadia fit into the puzzle? If that wasn't a dream, then what is it? What about my friends in Propast? What about Reza? Were they just dreams? If I dreamed myself into Europolis, what about Reza? My friends? Were they... Dreams? No, you don't understand. They're real. All of it was real, Zoe. You were there, in Propast. A physical projection walking amongst real people. A three-dimensional copy made flesh using the power of dreams. And they never realized. Well, at least most of them didn't. I sent someone to protect you in case anything went wrong. It's a good thing I did, too. Things spun out of control. Falk Friedman saved your life. As for Reza, it's more complicated. He's been an unwitting agent of Wati. His reckless investigations caught their attention. They needed to manipulate the press and they wanted to keep an eye on you. He was an easy tool, so they brainwashed him. We'll fix Reza, I promise. Wati. The dream machine. So what's Wati Corp's role in this? Wati funded us. Funded the development of the dream machine. We needed to collect and store dream energy. The dream machine facilitated that. They thought we were working for them, not the other way around. Wadi just wanted brainwashed consumers. They wanted to sell their silly toy to billions and rule over a virtual world. They have no imagination. How does Arc... and Arcadia? One of many worlds spawn from dreams. A world of... <sighs> I, I'm a scientist. I don't understand magic. It's chaotic, complex, and unpredictable. Magic is dangerous, and it has no place in a rational universe. But we needed it. We had to bridge the divide in order to store these vast quantities of dream energy. We put things in motion to return you to Arcadia, but you do most of the work yourself. Of course, we had help on, on the other side, a, a partner, but he didn't... You did it on your own, Zoe. You were compelled to connect with the primal force that inhabited the initial state before this universe. That was only possible by crossing the divide. Something called you there. Some force guided you. I, I don't know how to quantify it or explain it. But you succeeded. You absorbed the energy, and it didn't kill you. You got stronger. Strong enough to wake up and break out sooner than anticipated, but the timing ended up being perfect. You've reached your full potential. You're finally ready to interface with Eingana. She's mentioned Eingana several times now. It sounds important and familiar. Eingana. Meet Eingana. It took me decades to design and build her. She spans dimensions, taps into the dream energies. She's quite the thing. But she's actually not the first. Wadi had the prototype. They used her to operate the beta version of Dreamnet. After she was destroyed, we built Eingana 2. She operates the version of Dreamnet currently processing and recording the dreams of hundreds of millions of Dream Machine users. And now, we're reversing the process with you as the conduit, connecting quantum fields, connecting dream time with reality, Eingana will begin to alter our observable universe. Don't look so worried, Zoe. You won't need to do anything. She knows what to do. I've programmed her, and my template will guide her. Together, you'll make a better world. A world without sickness or death, a world without superstition, intolerance. 
A world where everyone's equal, where justice and compassion will prevail. A world not ruled by corporations or religions, but by science and logic, by rational thought. A better world. I need to stall for time, keep her talking until I can figure out a way to open this pod. She's waiting for me to respond. I think she needs me to understand. If I don't say anything, I need... How will you accomplish all of this? I know you have more questions, but we need to get started before those goons break down the doors and ruin everything. Helena, wait. Here we go. Is that you? I think so. I'm... I'm supposed to show you something. What? Why? What are you doing here? And where is here? I don't know. I don't even know how I got here. I'm... I'm a, a bit... Uh, a bit... I don't feel right. I'm not sure what happened. And I'm not sure I'm all here, if that makes sense. Uh, no. No. Yeah, no. I can see how that makes no sense. What are you supposed to show me? Oh, I almost forgot. So the ghost in the machine told me to do this thing. This one last thing. The ghost said that this has been my destiny all along. I don't expect you'll know what I'm talking about. Crow, I don't even know where this is. A minute ago, I was inside a pod in a lab, and now... We're inside the quantum weave that makes all the stories. This is reality's blueprint. How did I know that? What does quantum mean? What's a blueprint? Well, that explains everything. That was sarcasm. I detect sarcasm. This ghost in the machine, who was it? No idea. I remember nothing before meeting you here. Aside from a ghost telling me to show you what I'm about to show you. And I don't even know what that is. Show me what? There's nothing here. Let's go find it. Lead the way. Does this look at all familiar to you? It looks like a monastery. There you go. Maybe that's it. That doesn't really help. Hey, that looks like a diary. I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path, the other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. Brian Westhouse? Our Westhouse? The plot thickens. Thickens or just getting more muddled? I don't know what this is supposed to tell us. That Westhouse is involved? There's that, I guess. Come on, there's more. Okay, lead the way, Crow. We're ready, traveler. Your journey is about to begin. 
The ritual is ready. Step onto the dais, traveler. Okay, so what just happened? Portals. They were all over the place. Let's follow him. Through the... Wait! This is the story time. You know this place? I remember. I was here. For a long time. It's the place between. I didn't want to wake up and they... They needed me. The people who were dreaming. They were sick. I tried to help them. Uh-huh. Interesting. But we need to see what's going on. I'm supposed to show you this. And I need a drink. One second, Crow. Alright, much better. Alright. Lead the way, Crow. What are you doing here? You cannot be here. It will find you. I... don't... Where am I? What is this place? How did you get here? Go back the way you came, quickly. You cannot stay. I... I don't... know how to go. It is here. What have you done? What have you done? What do you mean? What? The undreaming. God, what is that? No, no, no. What is that terrifying thing? That's the undreaming. I know it is feel it well that's going to give me nightmares for a long long time the undreaming entered west house it sure did was he looking for it is that why he came here or was it an accident i guess that's what you're supposed to figure out come on we have more places to visit well that's it for this video thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time bye